What's going on guys, Toxic Reaper here, and today I'm bringing you some cheat stuff for Skyrim. Now, uh, these some of these cheat codes that I'm going to tell you guys, some um, aren't really looked down upon, some are. Um, for example, ones that aren't, um, carry weight. Hi highly, highly, highly liked uh, cheat code, as in, it doesn't really change the fact of the game, it just kind of helps you out. So, let me actually start with carry weight. Now, we all know that we get 300 carry weight. You can only carry um, so many items that add up to 300 carry weight. After that, you're lumbered and you walk, which is not okay because that then it would take like you know three hours to get somewhere, which is you know not okay with us. So, what you're gonna do is to open up the console, which allows you to type in these cheat codes. You're gonna hit the tilde key. Now, the tilde key is to the left of the one key and above the tab key. So you're going to hit that key, and what you're going to do is you're going to type in player.setav, all one word, and for the second part of that, the setav, it's S-E-T-A-V, space, carry weight, space, however much carry weight you want. So I'm going to set it to 5,000. Now I'm going to go into my items, and as you can see in the bottom right here, my carry weight is 5,020. So, that's the fact that that works. Now, the second one that's kind of frowned upon, but not as much because it does kind of help out, is your movement speed. Now, you're going to go back into the console and you're going to type player.setav space speed molt. And then the default speed is 100. So, you could go as high as you want, but little bit disclaimer here. I don't suggest going higher than 200. The reason that I don't suggest going higher than 200 is, is if you still want to kind of keep like the feel of the game, like you don't feel you're cheating as much, I suggest that you don't go over 200. Also, if you save multiple times over this, or uh, you know you have this set on for quite a while, it is going to get saved on the player basically or onto the character it's not going to be able to get off i've this has happened multiple times to one of some of my other characters and you will not be able to set it back so make sure that when you're setting these the speed that it's at a speed that you are comfortable with and that you're okay to play with for the rest of the 200 hours of the game so player.setav speed molt and i'm going to put it to 200 now, as you can see, it's pretty quick. Um, this is how I like it. I mean, it's not too, too fast. You know, you can get across the continent pretty quickly. Um, the run speed's pretty fast as well. It's also pretty nice for while, you know, you're stealthing. You could still catch up to somebody and then whack them. Um, so that's that. Uh, I, do, I do suggest uh, keeping it uh, below or at 200. Now, let's talk about items. Now... This is just a straight out cheat code. Um, this is just for something if you just kind of want to burn through the game or not burn through it, but you want to check out, you know, stuff. You know, you're just in it for the lore. You don't really, you don't really care about other things. You just kind of want to go through the game and check out the lore. Um, so let's go over that. Now the code for adding an item is player dot add item space and then the item code. So, let me find a code real quick. Let's add the Daedric War Axe. Now, the code for this is 000139B3. Now, this is where people get confused when using this cheat. They hit enter, and it says missing parameter count, compiled script not saved. Now, people are like, well, I did it all correct. Why why isn't it working? They'll sit here and they'll type it in, make sure everything's correct and everything works out fine. But what people aren't doing is after you I enter in the item code, you need to hit space and then the amount that you want. So uh, I only want one of these Daedric Axes. So I'm going to space and then one. And then I'm going to hit enter. As you can see, it says Daedric War Axe added. So I'm going to go to my items. I'm going to go to my weapons. And where is it at? Uh, there it is, Daedric War Axe. Bam. I'm going to equip it just for you guys. Look at that sexy little sexy axe. Bam. So that's the add item command. 
Now, let's go over a couple couple other ones. Let's see here. Now, we all we all kind of sometimes don't want to have to level up our skills, right? You know, it takes forever. Um, it's kind of a pain in the ass sometimes, but you know, you just kind of want to burn through it. So, let's say you want to change your destruction. You want to change that up to 100 so you don't have to deal with it. What you're going to do is you're going to go you're going to hit the tilde key. You're going to go player dot set av space destruction space and then you're going to add the amount that you want to set it up by. So I'm going to set it to 100 so I'm going to type 85. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit the tab key and I'm going to go back up. As you can see, it's 85. Now, I actually don't know why it did that. It was already at 15, and I added 85 points, and 85 plus 15 is 100. But as you can see, it still works all the same. Now, what... So obviously, you could go through and add them all up. But another thing that you can do is you can literally add the perks. So as you can see, uh, this was all added via the cheat code. What you're going to do is you're going to go... You're going to hit the tilde key again. You're going to go player dot add perk and then you're going to hit space and then you're going to add the item or the uh, perk number now i'm going to add a uh the website to where you're going to get all the perk numbers and item numbers of everything in the game uh in the description and i'll try to throw it here somewhere in the video uh, i don't know where it's going to be but it's going to be in there so you're going to do player to add perk and then the perk number now one thing that you guys need to watch out for is that when it comes to the, you know, um, for example, this one, this one is Enchanter, and it's, you know, a number, and then add a five. Now, there's going to be five different perk numbers, because there's going to be perk one, perk two, perk three, perk four, perk five. All different, you know, parts of the enchantment levels. Now, what's going to happen is, is that if you enter in the wrong one, it's not going to change. Like, you can answer in uh, 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 5 out of 5, and you're only 1 out of 5, or 0 out of 5, excuse me. It's not going to show up. Now, when you do change it, the numbers are going to change right when you enter in the code. So, make sure that when you're entering in the code that you add the first one first, because you do need to go in chronological order. And the numbers will change as you enter in the codes. So, if they're not changing when you enter them in, you're entering in um, the incorrect one. So you need to make sure that you're adding, adding them in chronologically. As for these ones, it doesn't matter. You know, you just find the perk code. So for Insightful Chan Enchanter, I would just find the ch code for Insightful Channer, and I would instantly get it. All you would have to do is you would hit Tab, go back to Skills, and then it would show back up. Got to, you know, kind of so it would update. So that's uh, the cheat codes for altering your skills and your perks. Also for adding items, your weight speed, your movement speed. Now let's look at something that um, kind of helps you out when you're in, uh, well, a little bit of a pinch. You don't know, you're looking around, you know, there's some puzzles and you don't know how to figure it out. And maybe, you know, you don't want to go on YouTube and check it out. So, you know, you just kind of want to pass it by real quick. Now, what this cheat code does is it enters you into no clip mode. And if you don't know what no clip mode is, it basically means that you can walk through walls, you can walk in the air, you can do whatever you want. The, the ground that has been created no longer exists for you. You can walk right through it. So now I'm going to turn it on here. The code for it is TCL. You can hit enter. Now, as you can see, it says collision off. I'm going to turn the tilde key off. And I'm going to walk. So I'm going to walk. I'm just going to look straight up and hit my W key. As you can see, I'm walking on air right now. I look down, and holy crap, I'm floating. Now, say, you know, this works for this works for anywhere. You can walk right through the ground. So as you can see, I'm literally below the world. So, you know, maybe you're doing a puzzle, and you just, you know, you want to get by it real quick. So you just can enter in TLC, or TCL, excuse me. And, you know, instantly get through it. So that's the cool thing about this one. Now, there's one more that I'm going to go over. Oh my god, someone's shooting at me! Um, there's one more that I'm going to go over. And, oh, by the way, if you want to turn TL or collision or no clip mode off, you just type TLC again. And as you can see, it says collision on. 
I float back down to the world and I can't walk through the ground anymore. So the last one that I'm going to share with you guys is God Mode. Now, what this does is it makes it so you don't die. That's that's it. And what it, also what it does is it makes it so you don't get encumbered anymore. Um, so if you go over your weight limit, um, it won't affect you anymore. Obviously, you could just do this player set av carry weight. Um, and just do it that way, so that way, you know, you still get the feel of the game, like, you could still die. Because I didn't want to, I wanted to be able to go through the game still with that kind of playability of it, but I just kind of wanted to get through that early part a little bit quicker. So I, you know, I just did carry weight, and I did my speed, and I gave me, uh, myself a little bit of stupid weapons, just so I could get through it a little bit quicker, so I could get to all the cooler quests at the end. Now, the chief for this one is... TGM. You're going to type that in, hit enter, and it's going to say God Mode Enabled. Now, I'm going to go back over here to where these guys were attempting to shoot arrows at me because they think they're cool. And I'm going to walk in here. Let's see if I can. I know you're here. Where are you? So here they are. Now, I'm going to let them actually attempt to hit me. I believe in you. So as you can see, I'm getting shot at. I have an arrow in my chest right now, in my abdomen. Oh, that's actually that's in that's in a bad place actually, um, and I'm not taking any damage whatsoever. I have arrows in my I, oh, I thought that hit my tail there for a second. And as you can see, taking no damage whatsoever. So that's what God mode does. Now I'm gonna turn it off, and look at that, I'm taking damage. So keep in mind that for most of these codes, you turn them off, or if you enter them in, it turns them on, and if you Turn, enter them in again, it'll turn them off. So, I'm just gonna kind of go back over this. Keep in mind that if you do turn the speed cheat on, that you turn your, you know, player dot set av speed molt. If you turn this cheat on and you turn it to whatever you want, keep in mind that if you keep it on for quite a while and you save a couple times, it's going to stay on and you will not be able to turn it off. There might be, you know, something that you might be able to change your character or something like that to be able to turn it off. But I do not guarantee that you'll be able to get it back off. So keep that in mind that if you do change your speed, that you keep it at a pace that is okay with you. Because you're probably going to get stuck with it for the rest of the game. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, also keep in mind that, uh, let me just go over this again. The skills, even if it's at 100... If you're trying to physically add a perk point, like I see how it says perks to increase too. If I physically wanted to add a perk point to it, I I this is this is level 20, right? So I have it up to about I don't know what I had, but as you can see, it's a hundred, but I haven't physically leveled up enchanting up to 40. See, it still says I'm 21. So keep that in mind that if you want to physically add perk points to it, just changing it isn't going to allow you to put perk points into it so you're, you're gonna have to do the add perk and then the code for it if you wanna you know actually get the perk so it does take a little bit if you wanna just kinda burn through it but once it's there it's there for the rest of the game and um, you get all this stuff so you can just kind of enjoy the game and kinda fly right through it um, keep in mind that you can't change this so once it's done it's done so that's kind of something to keep in mind um, that you know you do it it's done for the rest of the game and you're gonna have to deal with it so um that's my little video on the cheat codes of skyrim there is a couple more but uh i'm just gonna let you guys look it up i'm gonna give you guys the website to the cheat codes and the cheat code um codes like the actual um the item numbers and the perk numbers so that you guys can go through add whatever you want um they're all up on that website so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, keep a lookout for other videos. I'm going to be doing guides on how to get some of the rare weapons uh, legitimately. Or um, companions. Pro I might do some playthroughs of uh, some of the actual like you know quests and stuff like that. So uh, keep a lookout for that, guys. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day, guys. Uh, I'll see you around.